Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask the Experts. My name is Tobias and I am application engineer in the field of additive manufacturing here at Trumpf. Today I would like to introduce you to the new Truprint 1000 Green Edition here and two related applications. This 3D printing machine is connected to a TrueDisc 1020 green laser with a wavelength of 550 nanometers. This combination is a unique laser metal fusion process. Using that wavelength enabled stable and highly productive processing of pure copper, copper alloys and precious metals. The machine is currently producing an inductor. This is a pure copper customer application that is used for hardening. A high density combined with high conductivity is important for that process. By using a highly pure copper powder, a conductivity of 100% IACS can be achieved. The build time for that inductor was around five hours and it is completely post-processed. The supports were removed and the part was hand blasted. Usually these inductors are water-cooled and the water flows directly through the part itself through these tubes here. Due to the green laser, here we achieve a high density of around 99.8%, what is important for a cooling process without leakage. Many different inductor shapes are possible and there are almost no limits to the freedom of design. This inductor usually is a handmade part, but we can print them up to three times faster than conventionally fabricated parts. With the 3D printing process, we achieve a high reproducibility which is compared to the handmade part, not influenced by the operator's skill level. At the same time, the results of the hardening process are equal to the results of standard inductors. Another application is this microstructure cooler, which is used in power electronics. It is a thin-walled, pure copper component with implemented cooling channels that is in development and will most likely be manufactured in a serious production for Trumps. This component is designed for the 3D printing process from the very beginning and does not need any supports and therefore just a short and simple post process is required. It shows how the strength of the AM process can be used for high performance components. In this case, the LMF process is used because an optimized cooler geometry could be realized. Here you can see the internal channels. And that leads to a better cooling performance and a higher efficiency of the cooled electronic product. As you can see within this graphic in detail, the 3D printed cooler here in gray compared to the conventional cooling plate here in orange reaches a 1.7 times higher cooling performance. This was achieved by a combination of optimizing the thermal transition between liquid and solid material and the high thermal conductivity of high purity copper. In addition, due to the design optimizations, the assembly process has been simplified what also reduces the overall costs. Our green laser LMF process is unique and offers huge potential for new applications. I hope this has been informative and gives you some ideas for your applications with highly reflective materials. Thanks for watching this edition from Ask the Expert.